you certainly saw some highlights. Here's a look at uh, some of the work. That was a lovely shot from Brendan McCollum, just advancing down the track of uh, Pet Laquayo. Second ball. And it was uh, the next ball actually uh, pumped it up to Van der Dussel, and he was uh, out. That was a missed chance from Ali Khan on the next side. And the batsmen soon worked out that this track was going to be a bit on the slow side, so they had to put in a lot of hard work with all this, uh, the shots that they played, and we saw quite a few shots down the ground. That's when they started to get benefit. When they started to go a little bit square, they didn't have too much, and uh, once or twice just trying to go a little bit too far, but unfortunately, you know, two wickets going on at crucial times. And it was Petra Quayle in the game with uh, the catching on that situation. That was a beautiful shot. Really good work down the ground. Rippon into the attack at the moment, and this was uh, an important wicket as well for Rippon. And his left arm orthodox. Chris Gale just putting down a hot chance off Yuvraj Singh, who just arrived at the crease. And downtown with that. Terrific hitting at this stage of the innings. When they really needed to, to fire up, there was a, uh, a missed chance by Yuvraj Singh. Bit of a ricochet in the end. And he was uh, on his way. This was uh, the work done by Heinrich Klaas in particular. Look at that shot, just waltzing across on the offside and just working hard on the leg side, skying that one as well and uh, providing an opportunity at a short fine leg region, Kyron Pollard as he often does providing some serious impetus at the end of an innings and again going straight, that was a slow ball from Petrolaquea which uh, went over the boundary Just the yeah. highlights of the game so far. Yeah, highlights. Uh, and wasn't a bad start. Put on uh, 30 for the opening <coughs> wicket, did the Vancouver Knights, and uh, chasing down this 160 that they needed. Off to a nice start until Tobias Vise was taken in the deep catch there. And then Chris Gale departed to Montford. Just had that off stump broken. And they broke that partnership, 36, and then it was Chadwick Walton and Rusty van der Dusen with some very fine shots all around the ground. Not too much trickery required, just a little bit of power and placement, Gautam. Yeah, when they lost those two wickets and a couple of deliveries that kept low like that one, I think a bit fortunate that he managed to get six of that. But uh, they kept the partnership going. They showed, as Simon Dool mentioned, game time in the middle really helps particularly for Fonda Dusen, one of the brightest sparks for the South African side coming off that World Cup in England. And the and bowling didn't quite live up to the mark for the Toronto Nationals in the end. That was the uh, final act of the match. Rassi van der Dusen putting that one into the crowd. And the Vancouver Knights starting their campaign with a very, very comfortable win over the Toronto Nationals. Nationals batted first. 159 for five. Klaassen and Thomas with 41 apiece. And uh, Zafar, the best of the bowlers, one for seven for the Knights. And the Knights responding 161 for two on the back of that wonderful partnership of 126 from 80 deliveries. Vancouver Knights winning by eight wickets.